vlogs and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Morgan and I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that's your thing, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I make videos twice a week and I would love to have you here. Today I am reorganizing this mess. So these are my handbag closets. They're from Ikea. I'll link the units there. I've already taken the doors off just so there wasn't a lot of glare back from the light because the doors are glass. But we are going to be addressing this mess. I have already outgrown this. So I have my carpenter make two new glass shelves and we are gonna install them today. I'm also gonna be filming my designer handbag collection video which you guys have requested quite a lot. So look out for that soon. But yeah, um, let me just show you the state of it and then we will get started taking everything out. So these are the two shelves. Sorry you can see the ring light, but there's just like no other way to light this corner. It's in the back of my room. I have some baskets down here for bags that I don't use as often, like clutches and travel bags. I've kind of got them by color here, but there's just not enough room in general. I would love to have it more like aesthetically laid out, but even this has gotten messy because there's too many things there. So I've got one more shelf for each unit. I want to get rid of this little shelf completely. I don't think it looks very nice. So I just want them to look neat and organized. I think I might take a little look and see if there's any that I'm ready to sell on. But yeah, this is the before. I have here the shelves. They're wrapped up. I just need to unwrap them. He also got me some hardware because if you can see, let me see if I can show you. That is the hardware that comes with the Ikea unit, but they don't have the exact same in the market. So I'll show you what he brought. These are the little brackets that he found for the glass shelves. I'm hoping I can find some screws that fit this. The glass would sit on the top of this little rubber thing, so I think they'll be fine, but I've just gotta see if I can find the screws to work. I'm just gonna remove all of these bags, and my goal is actually to fit my Louis Vuitton on the go and never full up here as well. I think what I may end up doing is removing these baskets and some of the bags that I don't use as often, putting them into my closet itself. So this can just be for my designer handbags. I don't know, I'm gonna kinda of see how it goes and figure it out along the way. When taking these bags out and putting them on the bed and just seeing them all laid out, I realized just how many I have and I know it's excessive and I know I have a lot and I'm so grateful to have so many bags. I know it is a privilege and I just wanted to mention I have been collecting for over 15 years so some of these bags are quite old. The Dior up in the corner I think is now 14 or 13 years old like I've had it that long so I buy my bags and I keep them and some of them even if I don't use them as much anymore there are things that I want to pass on to hopefully when I have kids I could pass them on to them everything is now cleared out and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the bed because I know you're going to want to see it but I think the shelves are going to be kind of an as I go thing um I don't know what system I'm going to use, I'm just going to kind of feel it out and see what I like. I'm going to try stylizing it first and see if I can fit everything. I have a feeling I might have too many bags that I'll have to, you know, just kind of put them one right after the other. Here are all of my bags on my bed. So some of the totes and the bags in the back were stored in my closet. I brought them out to see maybe what I want to change up or if. I want to put them right back in the closet let's just see but for now these are all of my bags so another thing I wanted to show you is this velvet paper so these are just velvet sheets with adhesive on the back I got them on Amazon I'll link them in the description they're on my Amazon shop um, I do this because I don't want any patent leather sticking to the glass and it's worked out great so far very clean and neat and I'm gonna line the new shelves as well I actually have one more handbag that's been in storage. I bought it so long ago. I bought it because it was a bag that I was only gonna allow myself to use once I hit a certain goal. Anything happening and so many setbacks, that goal is gonna be quite far off now. So I guess I'm just gonna look at this as like my birthday treat, even though my birthday's not till October for this year. Here it is, I actually have this little Chanel vanity case. I love it. I had a certain goal in mind. I don't want to say it because I am still going to try to achieve it even despite everything going on in the world this year. I'll update you if and when that happens. 
since I'm reorganizing, I want to give this a place on the shelf. We still won't start using this until my birthday, but since I'm reorganizing, I wanted to give it a place on the shelf rather than being tucked away in my closet. This is my little addition. I got her so long ago, and I didn't want to miss out on this tweed pink edition, and I knew it would be pretty difficult to come across on the pre-love market later, so that's why I didn't wait until the milestone to buy the bag. I bought this and I said I'll tuck it away. This shelf I'm gonna raise up along with this one. I think on both sides I wanna keep them even so they look almost like one unit. Let's see how we get on with a shelf like this. I feel like it's a little close so it may not work out but trial and error I guess. My tattoos is a remedy, remedy, remedy And the way you go, baby, don't you know It's a remedy, remedy, remedy yeah. Dress in cigarette smoke, is it? The print you wanna leave behind Get all those cold eyes, cold looking I thought I would show you I've set the shelves now I wasn't happy with where they were so now I'm just gonna organize this first cabinet and then I have to set the shelves on the other side so I wanted to have one shelf being like my pink and pastel bags and the other shelf being more of my neutral bags but I ended up having more colorful bags than neutral so I put the very brightly colored ones on the left cabinet and this first shelf I'm happy with the mixture where I have just my bags in a row and then more aesthetically placed bags and then again bags in a row and then aesthetically placed bags I would love to have the entire shelf all aesthetically done but I just have too many bags that it works better if I keep a couple of the shelves just neat rows so I think this mixture will work really well for me and I like that this is mostly like my pink shelf because I mean most of my colorful bags are pink so it ended up looking really nice in the end I had to try some different configurations just to get everything in there and to work out but I'm really happy with how it turned out so I did most of my designer bags up top. There's a few, like the pearl one that's at a lower price point and the Jacquemus bags that are, you know, at a lower price point. But on the bottom row is where I put my more contemporary or high street bags. I don't reach for them as often, but when I want to go for a trend bag, I do like to go more high street so I don't have as much of an investment in there. So I just kind of fiddled with it down at the bottom, which is what I'm doing now. And I put the high street bags that I do use more often down there and then I kept a few in a basket to put in my closet for the ones that I don't use as often. This is the first section done. I am so happy with how it turned out. I'm going to show you both of them when they're done as well. Match the shelves now on this one here and I will get back to you. Are done you guys look at this it's so much more organized and beautiful I'm super happy with how it turned out I can see everything I even took the things out of the baskets down below now I have one basket to put like in my closet of bags that I very rarely use but I'm too attached to to get rid of and then over on my bed we have one little basket that I'm going to donate some little bags 
and a couple of pieces to sell as well. So happy with how this turned out and now I'm going to put the doors back on. There we have it guys. That is how it looks when the doors are on and closed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy coming along with me for this organization. I will have my bag collection video coming out soon so subscribe if you want to see that. I will be selling a couple of my pieces here soon so also stay tuned there. I usually do that over on my Instagram so make sure you're following me if you're interested. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. I would love to have you here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!